Hello friends, I am B Singh, CMD MADG Group and with me Mr. D.K. Arora who is an expert of public sector guidance in MADG team or uh, Mr. Tarun Jindal who has done M.Tech in Thermal Engineering from IIT Delhi and Anisha Christie and she has done M.Tech from NIT Bhopal in Stress and Vibration Analysis. For Mechanical Engineering, we will have a discussion for post-gate opportunities for engineers. After the gate result is announced for the 2019 gate, what would be your next step? How to use gate scorecard, where you can utilize, what is the expected cutoff and what are the facilities or what are the opportunities through the gate. We will discuss in detail for public sectors, for MTech in IIT, NIT, the ISC and other state engineering colleges and also the other opportunities in research organizations of CSIR, BAR, foreign universities. In total, we will have a discussion for the all opportunities for the mechanical engineering. So uh, I'm starting first uh, from the public sectors. For mechanical engineers, what should be the preference to go in PSUs or should be the preference to join the MTech courses? Choice between PSU mm -hmm. and uh, MTech. MTech is individual. See, really, it's individual. Right. But then... And it has to be individual. It has because to be individual. You have to see yes. your area of interest and you have to see your future aim. That's right. Some people who want to prepare for engineering services, they are not very keen on working in a public sector. They should look for a course which is relatively less demanding in the IITs or NITs. Hmm. Along with the coursework, not only do they upgrade their knowledge, but they are also getting enough time for their preparation. So that is that is one message which is uh, very clearly to be taken by the students. Right. But in general, we have seen in recent last two, three years, the mostly students, they prefer for PSU rather than going for the MTech, except some Individual exceptional. cases, exceptional, exceptional cases exceptional. who have keen interest on research. And in case you are looking for a job, then PSU job is equally good. And we have seen for mechanical, there are the large maximum number of Maximum number of opportunities for maximum mechanical engineers. Open. Yes, absolutely. Right. Mechanical engineers offer the maximum scope for PSUs. Like right. ONGC alone, last year, 2018 I'm talking about, they had uh, more than 350 jobs for mechanical engineers only. Uh, when we talk about ONGC, and uh, I believe uh, gate is core and followed by the gate is interview. Right. What is the weightage of the interview? The weightage of the interview in case of uh, ONGC is only 15%. Right. And 60% uh, is the weightage of your uh, yeah, gate good. score. And then 20%, you have 20 percent, you get 20 marks for BTEC, irrespective of what is your percentage. So, 20 marks are allotted for the all, irrespective. And if you have done BTEC plus PSD, then you have 20 you get extra five marks. Five marks, yes, extra. yes, That's okay. It. So, this is uh, ONGC, and now we talk about ONGC drilling and material management. So, there are marketing. four opportunities, there are four different disciplines right. for which mechanical engineers are uh, eligible. One is uh, ONGC for mechanical engineering itself. The designation is AWE Mechanical, then we have AWE Production, then we have uh, Cementation for Mechanical Engineers, right. and then finally the Drilling. Okay. In fact, last year was a very exceptional year that for production, mm. the calls for students getting a very low score, even that, even that happened. They were called. Even they were called. So as little as production, you, say you, you, you say that those who do not have the good score, they still get a chance, may, may get a chance but in production. But that was a fluke last year. Right. It may not happen because may last year stu a student would see that cut off and then a lot of candidates. But they should, should take a chance. They should take it. The students they should take, take a chance, chance to apply yes. on it. Yes. Right. Yes. And uh, 14 days off, 14 days on. Uh, that PSU. is an added advantage for so those who want to prepare. If you want to prepare for PSU, for, uh, for civil services or engineering services further, it's a good, I think ONGC it's a good can option. be a good opportunity. It's a good option. Good. But drilling becomes a little hectic job. Because 14 days Drilling you requires are... you to be on your toes. It right. is not that you are on job 24 by 7, but then you are on call 24 by 7. That's the... But on the other hand, the consider. facilities and the salary of the PSUs is very... You get an extra 10%. Uh, Anisha, what is your finding on the public sector selections and what are the areas the students would prepare? So basically, um, 
engage the scores. I mean, they should aim to maximize their scores so that um, majority that one, majority. But that is already over now. Hmm. Gate gate exam is already over, hmm. and now only they can do prepare for the PSCU's interview program. Yeah, so and it's like um, HPCL and BPCL they have separate GD programs for the in, after before the PI. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so they have to prepare for the GDU section also because that will also have a weightage in there. Arunaji, uh, in interview, GD and PI, what are the important topics and how to express in GD and whether these are eliminative or these are a part of the credit? Okay, as uh, Anisha just said, uh, GD or case study in case of BPCL and group task in case of HPCL. There are two exceptions because in both these organizations, the GD or the GT round is eliminating in nature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they are giving a kind of a description. There is a little uh, description of the case or uh, the scenario which is uh, given to the students and you are required to have a discussion around that. On the basis of your performance, on the basis of a clarity of thought, on the basis of the connect with the scenario which has been described, you are either accepted or you are eliminated from round one. And then of course in BPCL you have two rounds of interview, you have the HR round and you have the technical round. Yeah, just yes. interrupting here, in ONGC also minimum qualification required in interview is mandatory. Yes. For general and OBC out of 15 marks, if you don't score nine, nine. then nine you are the minimum that not you going to be selected whatsoever is your gate rank. Even if you are the gate topper. Right. And for SCST it should be six. It should be six. Six marks. SCST and uh, PH category. PH category. Yes. Right. So you have to consider interview is a very important stage and performance and interview will depend how perfectly you answer, confidence level you maintain and knowledge which you express. You have to, uh, you have to rehearsal and practice yourself and there is sufficient time. For there that. is time for that. There, there is time. time for that. Yes. Right. So in case uh, you are looking for the public sectors, you should not stop. Immediately, you should continue revising your syllabus. Keep revising your concepts, keep revising your basics. And also prepare something from your personality part, HR part, hobbies, interest, extracurricular activities, native life information, and also some current happenings, mm -hmm. right? Those all areas become important. See, if you can't spend time on reading a newspaper every day, my suggestion is go for one weekly magazine any of the weekly magazines. Right. Now there are condensation of there are give, give yeah, online portals also exactly. available. Exactly. At least do something. Yes. You learn. Be in touch with what is happening around. Right. Right. Yes. Tarun, uh, on public sectors, uh, would you like to add anything? Uh, basically, for the public sector, one of the question which is always be asked in any of the interview will be, what is your favorite subject? So, uh, whenever you are preparing for any interview, do prepare any favorite subject in detail. Don't go for the derivations or the numerical problem, but for the basic concepts. Right. And in case the students do not have the good gate score, but still they want to enter in PSU. So what are the other PSUs where separate entrance exam? ISRO is conducting a separate exam. Right. BAR ISRO is a How is research the organization. And BRC again gives you an opportunity on the basis of their online exam in mm -hmm. case you don't perform so well in right. uh, gate. Yes, so plus there are other organizations also. BARC gives you the exams. opportunities through GATE also and True. gives you opportunities separately. Both options, both options are there. Both options yes. are there. Yes. yes. Right. Now, after the PSU's MTech, and when we talk about MTech, you have series of colleges, number of colleges, right from ISC Bangalore to IITs to NITs and the other state engineering colleges. So, what is the selection criteria? Approximate cutoff and which branch? Would be preferred over the other branch. Uh, Anisha, first from you. Uh, in your opinion, what are the branches in preference in mechanics? Sir, basically, design and thermal are on the same level, based, depending upon the interest of the candidate. Yeah, but but we see on the uh, uh, industrial requirement, I think design may be yeah, preferred. Preferred and but sir, in if I talk about NITs, like in Trichy and Varangal, thermal cutoffs are more as compared to the uh, design cutoffs. Right. If they're in for NIT Trichy and NIT Varangal, which are considered considered to be the topmost NITs. Hmm. So there, the cutoff is near about uh, seven hundred fifty to eight hundred gate score. Right. So, so uh, firstly, I'll say design thermal. Equipment. Design and thermal almost yeah. parallel, and, and design may be preferred. Yeah. It depends on individual interest. Yeah, yeah. And then you come for the manufacturing engineering, which may be production or manufacturing, yeah. industrial engineering, industrial, safety, industrial and safety. safety, and then material, material and metallurgical. Yes. 
and metallurgy. And, and then you have some interdisciplinary yeah, branches. So that's what I was Especially in IITs like energy studies, hmm. robotics, nanotechnology, right. renewable energy, hmm. green technology, right. these are the upcoming. industrial triology. Yeah. Yes. So in case you have only a mindset to do MTech from IITs, then even your GATE score is not good. You may get a chance in uh, in interdisciplinary courses. courses. And yes. MS courses from IITs are also equally good. And MS normally cut off is less. Uh, Tarun, coming to you, you have done MTech in Thermal Engineering from IIT Delhi. Yes, sir. So what are the placements and how to choose which IIT is better? And what was your criteria of selection IIT Delhi? Uh, basically, if you want to go for uh, uh, preparing for engineering service exam or civil service exam, then you have a, a bunch of coaching classes near to Delhi Center. So, any student who wants to prepare for the highest higher end studies, higher end these, exams, uh, these kind of the exams, uh, these kinds of exams, he should prefer uh, IIT Delhi. Right. But uh, if you will compare from and if the score is not very good, then DTU and NIT Delhi are DTU and the NIT Delhi are always the option for you. And uh, if you want to go for the placement after the MTech, then right. you should choose for IIT Bombay. Bombay. Because and what about ISC? ISC is, uh, they are more into the research. research. Nowadays, the companies are coming for the placements also. Mm. And they do offer a higher package than what uh, is offered in IIT. Mm. But uh, the coursework is more of research oriented. Right. So, uh, if uh, you want to go for the, uh, if you have some research, interest then you can go for IIC Bangalore and also. for IIT Delhi and other IITs what are the selection criteria is it directly admission on the basis of gate scorecard or they conduct the interview uh, sir for mo most of the uh, courses uh, direct uh, gate score is not considered mm -hmm. in 60 uh, percent or 75 percent weightage is given to the course uh, to gate score mm -hmm. and apart from it 15 to 20 percent marks is given for the written exam or PA it depends upon the Department in which you are applying. Right. Like in IIT Bombay, they conduct the written exam. IIT written Kanpur exam. also conducts the written uh, but exam. But in IIT Delhi, uh, yes. if you will go for the interdisciplinary branches, they will go for interview rather than the written test. Right. So interdisciplinary like energy studies, computer energy studies, applied industrial biology, right, robotics. Yes, okay. CAD CAM. CAD CAM and robotics. Yes, sir. right. Okay. So this is okay. But what about the placements uh, what is the level of placement from iit delhi all these students in the thermal got the placements or almost every one of us will get the placement from iit delhi or from any iit it depends upon how much hard work you have done in your coursework and the even from the interdisciplinary branches yes sir from the interdisciplinary branches the percentage of the placement is somewhere around 80 to 85 percent but if you have really done your work sincerely okay. then you will surely get a placement okay and what is the scenario of the ms courses from iit ms courses how good these are as compared to the mtech so ms courses they are being uh, they are more very much more into the research rather than uh, as compared to the mtech mm. for the ms right yes. uh, okay so ms is more towards research it is and mtech more is more towards the placement, placement and yes. in industry some iits offer integrated programs of the mtech and phd yes sir. right mtech plus phd right this is usually five years course. So what is advantage of uh, integrated program? So as per me, uh, if you go for a separate MTech and separate PhD, then the uh, total time for completing your studies will be, will be around, around seven to years. nine years. Seven but to nine, minimum six years. Right? Minimum six years will be there, but it will generally extend up to seven to nine years. But in case of this integrated MTech plus PhD program, the coursework will be completed in five to six years. Right. Minimum five years, but it may be completed in five years or yes. six years. Yes, sir. Right. Anisha, for CCMT, yes, because sir. for the all NITs, there is a Common joint, e yeah, this is a combined selection mm -hmm. procedure. It is online selection process. What is basically round one, round two, round three, how to go for the uh, choosing the opportunities, which NITs are good and which colleges be given preference on what basis? So based on the uh, facilities they have, if you have a research oriented uh, interest, then for the facilities, Trichy, Varangal, Suratkal ranks on the top. Okay. Then the uh, next uh, uh, NITs may be Allah And even in placements also these colleges yeah, these rank good. Yes, sir. Right. The facilities, placements, professors, all are the, okay. ex they are comparable to the IITs. Right. When, when we compare the new IITs like uh, IIT Indore, IIT Hyderabad, uh, Gandhi Nagar, and so on. And then NITs of first category like Trichy, mm -hmm. Varangal, Furatkal, Raurkela. What is 
your opinion whether these students should give preference to the new IITs or these renowned NITs? They should prefer the renowned I, uh, NIT. NITs in case if they are getting a very good branch like uh, thermal engineering or design engineering. But if you specifically go for, uh, if you want to go for the IIT brand, then you can opt for the new IITs. Right. So basically, the students have to see what is their aim. If you yeah. want to get the placement in industry, I think the renowned NITs can give the yes, good sir. placement with the branch, with the good with branch, the with the good branch. Yes. Right. And parallel to the IITs, uh, we have the placements from the NITI Mumbai. Mm -hmm. And NITI is also one of the good colleges for, especially for the uh, PI and mechanical exactly. students. Yes, right. Yeah. So post graduate diploma in industrial engineering is one of the very good preferred Very courses. highly sought out. Some of the yes. former yes. students of MADG have told they have got two jobs opportunities, three jobs opportunities and placements are very, very good and the packages are more than 16 lakhs, 17 lakhs. 16 lakhs. to 18 lakhs is the average. Average yes. price. Yes. And, uh, so, what is the selection criteria of NITI and uh, what are the placements? So, shortlisting for the interview, shortlisting for the next process, you have to keep in mind is the gate score. And around and 700. Around 700 would for be general. the general category cutoff. Okay. And then, of course, subsequently reducing for the other okay. categories. But gate is not the deciding factor. Okay. Gate does not have the highest of okay. packages. This is your initial benchmark. This is just the okay. first stage. What is the weightage of the gate score? Around gate 35%? score is 35%. Then uh, 20 marks are there for your academics. Which 5% is for class 10 5 performance, 10, 5 5% 5 for class 12, 10% 10 10 for the degree. degree. So this becomes 20, 20 35 plus 20. And the remaining 65. 65 and, and the remaining 35 percent for the, for the GD, and, GD interview. and interview yes and both are non-eliminative GD eliminative no sir it's no. not uh, eliminating it's Sorry, a it qualifying round qualifying round yes and uh, GD topics in fact NITI is uh, very very useful in terms of uh, giving you the insight they give you a list of selected uh, special uh, specific topics and you, you should prepare for that they give you guidelines about what not to do during the interview and it's important that you follow those guidelines. Right. So yes. if you have good academic record and you have good uh, personality and you can uh, speak and you can defend yourself, even at low grade, low gate score, low gate score also you, can you have a chance to get selection. Yes. And uh, this is one of the good colleges for the placements. And industry, industries really prefer. Industry these really accepts these courses. Prefers. Industry really accepts these right. courses. But in case you have a plan of preparing for the civil services or engineering services, then, then I think then NITI may not be that. NITI may not be the yeah. ideal. Yes, yeah. 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 Last year I was going through their placement record. One twenty six recruiters have visited the. One twenty six yes. for two hundred students. And, yes. and for the manufacturing sector, Asian Paints, um, RIL, Tata Motors have also recruited. With the highest package of 40 lakhs. Sir. 40 lakhs, domestic. Yeah, domestic. Right, so That's this is not known package. to many of these students. Yes. In case your aim is to get a good job and you are in the uh, range of your gate score around 700, 800, 900, I think you can apply. This is a good opportunity. And perform and prepare, you can definitely perform. Now, next coming to the other opportunities through the uh, gate, like in foreign universities, when we talk about the so University of Singapore and US and US and DU Singapore and then RWH, RWTH okay. Germany, Germany. Germany and then uh, NES, uh, Technical University, University. Munich. Yeah. So these are also the opportunity for MS as well as research in foreign institutions. Right. And universities of NUS and NTU are rated in top 10 and top 12 of the world. They and are. These are one of the good universities of the world. If you have any interest of going for the research, especially from foreign university, you can apply. What are what is the requirement and how to apply? See, for admission to the foreign universities like uh, NUS, NTU, and uh, the two universities in uh, Germany, they give due recognition to the gate score. A good gate score would definitely merit uh, right. interaction in the next round. Then your academics have to be really good. Exceptionally right. high. Academics. And then a good recommendation, then recommendation from yes. your college uh, professor or from yes. some recognized person will help you a yes. lot. Right. Yes. But so, at the end, you have to see what is your aim, right? Before you start your master's course, you have to take a call. What is your final aim? If you really want to go in research, then going foreign universities is advisable. Yes. But if you have mindset of going into industry, 
then I think M Tech from IITs or M Tech from NITI Mumbai or top class NITs can be can be a good good option. For right. You. And PSUs is a definitely a personal call. It, most of these students prefer for the PSUs. But when you begin your preparation for the public sectors, okay. right? How do we start right from now? Even the result is not announced. See, as I said earlier, PSU interview process invariably has two stages: the GD and the interview. And when we talk about GD, yes, be in touch with what is happening around you because the topics are not something which are alien. Topics may be possibly the headline news of the day. An so, interview is very instantaneous process. You never know on what areas they will uh, move and what they will ask, what they will not ask. There is no guarantee. They will not right. touch current affairs. They will not touch academics. Yeah. They it will can, not touch the it can anything. anything. Can be, it can be anything. Yes. yes. Sir. But yes. those are research organizations like the uh, BARC or ISRO or CSIR. There Chances it is are predictable. More in technical field. There it is predictable. It will go only in technical. But that direction. only you can predict technical. You cannot predict, predict technical. which subject. You cannot predict subject. Yes, but BRC gives you one flexibility. They ask you mm. write down the four subjects that you have prepared, mm. and then nine out of ten cases they ask questions only from those subjects. From those areas. Yes. 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 Right. And they really make you comfortable before they start the grilling. I'll use the term grilling only. So, uh, Arora ji, would you suggest some GD topics for those students who are going for the next round in GD in some oncoming PSC? See, there are some evergreen topics which you need to be anyway prepared with. Women empowerment being one of them. Right. That can be asked in any terrorism form. Terrorism is also there. Terrorism, counter-terrorism. Right. Then India's the foreign policy. Social media. Right. Social the media. impact of social media. The impact of social media in elections, you right. will be approaching right. election time by the time right. your selection process starts. Right. So these are some these environmental are issues. Less. Right. Less. There right. are specific organizations Climate which focus change, only on global those. warming. Yes, exactly. These environmental issues. Right. Uh, like West Bengal uh, recruiters, they right. were focusing more on climate rather than on uh, any other topics. Uh, coming to the West yes. Bengal, mm -hmm. recently West Bengal Electricity Board has notified to recruit on the basis of gated scorecard. Yeah. Last year also we have In seen... Fact, the last three years they have been doing it. Uh, state so gate. Yes. organizations, so, state engineering yes. services recruited. So gate is gradually becoming important. And students have to take the gate examination seriously. In case you are a fresher and you have not performed well in the gate 2019, then you, I will suggest you to take a chance for the next year. I think you gate must give one more attempt. And if your gate get very good on. rank, impressive yes. rank in gate and you will open many windows for the future. Right. right. So gate opens for PSUs, for the research organizations in CSIR, BARC. And then you have the other opportunities in foreign universities, in MNCs, then public sectors, MTech, MS, PhD courses. And there are several opportunities through gate. So gate is absolutely important. Now, those students who are in dilemma to focus in IES preparation or because they must have, might have qualified for the prelims or to start preparing for the PSU interview, what to do? See, for PSU interview, don't think that you have to spare so much of your time. Hmm. But one call which you will have to take is the interview dates might be coming before the date of your mains exam. So that is the only thing which can be playing a role. Tarun, uh, you did M Tech. Yes, sir. And after M Tech, uh, you decided to move in uh, industry. My uh, question is that for a student uh, at this stage of time, when remains is also near and PSU is also near, mm -hmm. and both have different approach, what is more important? How to make the balance? Uh, so for uh, example, for my experience for the last year when I qualified for the engineering services uh, main, uh, prelims exam, my mains exam was uh, on the last day, uh, on the first week of July itself. And in the month of May and June, many uh, PSUs will be Not calling PSU will be calling me for the interview. Yes. So what I did uh, up to the uh, end of the April, I prepared all the subject for the uh, mains exam, going right. through the theory, going through the concept, so that I have a good grasp of every formula or every definition which they are going to ask me. And for the next two months. Before going to the interview, I will just open my notes and go through them quickly. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, in the evening or in the early in the morning, I will do practice of the numerical numerical question so that by the end of June, I have a complete preparation of for the mains exam as well. 
Anisha, uh, anything you want to add on it? Sir, in between, like if you are studying too long for the technical, we often get uh, exhausted. So in between those, when you are taking breaks, you can go through the current affairs. So side by side also preparation can be done for PSUs as well as for the mains examination. Right. And if you are expecting your PSU call for interview, basic definitions you should review. Applications part also you should review. And in addition to that, some principles and uh, some conceptual things also. Numerical problems for that is not required, numericals but for engineering services, for, uh, you have to go for yes, the numericals. For engineering services, you have to practice numericals, yeah. but for interviews, no, that's not This year, we have seen GATE as well as IES prelims. Both the papers were difficult in mechanical, mm -hmm. right? And this is an indication that in coming exams, you have to increase your level of preparation. For these engineering services mains exam also you should increase the level of your preparation and you should be ready for the tougher questions as well so here i will suggest you the previous year civil services exam questions can be of great use right so previous solved papers of the last 10 15 years of the civil services means also students should prepare for the engineering services for the exam yes, yes. that can be of for the useful. Means. even the forest services questions also can be useful and Writing answers become important because most of the students before the gate are focused on the objective type questions and they do not have practice of how to write the questions. So conventional writing, solving and appropriate steps are required. So you have to practice and test series can be one good option. Right. So this was the discussion for the uh, post gate opportunities for mechanical engineers. We have this series of videos for all branches on this topic. And uh, time to time we will conduct and we will bring out the more videos for the different different requirements. After the GATE 2019 results will be announced, May DG will conduct the post GATE counseling session. You can participate either in Delhi or in others, any other center for the one to one interaction with the teachers. In addition to that, May DG will conduct the uh, interview programs for the guidance uh, for GDPI as well as for the other related requirement. And in case you want to get any association or any support from us, do not hesitate. We are eager to help you, guide you. And for those students who are in second year and third year of the BTEC now, and if you are planning for the GATE 2020, then this will be a golden opportunity this year. MADG is uh, going to launch 70 days GATE program in summer. And these in summer vacations for 70 days, you can take a uh, preparation and you can best utilize your free time of the summer vacations. So this course will be available in Delhi and in Hyderabad Center. For any further updates, you can keep on touch with us. And MADG student portal is the new platform where you can post your queries and we will try to answer. Thank you.